Hey guys, this is your Arsu and your video Dollar P and Legway, Marvel Superheroes, Ant Man. So this is the box itself right here and as you can see it's recommended for the 60 craft and this is set DLP 9072 and this is the 9th out of the 20 minifigures and uh, does have a very nice box art here looks pretty cool this is the top this is the side this is the other side bottom and finally the back it shows you all of the figures from the Marvel uh, part of the set. There's also the DC part of the set uh, which I have reviewed uh, two of these minifigs and yeah there are a total of 20 minifigs in this entire set which is pretty crazy uh, but yeah you do have some really nice figures here and yeah but aside from that that's pretty much it for the box so this is the instruction paper included with him it shows you how to build the minifigure you have the parts list you got the instructions and yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the instructions so this is the figure itself right here so let's start with the helmet piece so the helmet piece here is very accurate to the original uh, lego helmet piece it's just that it doesn't have the visor piece i'm not sure why but they just don't have it uh which does suck but yeah it's a pretty cool mode and under there uh you have this blank expression and this is hank pym you have his alternate angry expression and for the torso print you have the Ant-Man suit you have uh, the straps right here you have the red parts you have the belt you have uh, the leg print thing with the red lining and you got the back torso print with the rest of the suit uh, you have the mechanisms and you got um, some wirings and stuff like that and yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for Ant-Man so this is the build that comes with Ant-Man, uh, this is uh, just a simple car build, uh, it looks like a go-kart, which yeah I guess that's nice, uh, you have the plastic wheels, there's no rubber in them, and you got this yellow part at the back, you got the driver's seat with the steering wheel, you have the this grill piece, and yeah. Aside from that, uh, there's not much else to this card. So overall conclusion of this main figure here, so how do I think of him? Well, um, you know, the printing quality of him is um, pretty good. I mean, the printing on the figure here looks pretty nice. But it's just that he does not have the visor on his helmet. It's a very important part of the Ant-Man helmet. And yeah, it, it sucks that they didn't include it. And uh, with dollar pin cutting costs, um, yeah, this entire set here suffers. Uh, same thing happened with the the other two DC figures that I have reviewed before uh, from this set. Yeah, um, they also have uh, some effects of uh, dollar pin cutting costs. So yeah, that does suck. And the build, it could have been better. They could have made it uh, a terrain build, uh, made it something that's uh, related to Ant-Man. Could have been great, but instead they just went with this go-kart design which does suck so yeah i just wish that they put more effort into these sets then it would have been great if you only want this figure from that ant-man set then yeah i guess uh, dollar pin is a pretty good way to go figure here it he does look pretty nice it's just that if you want a more accurate helmet you need to buy an ant-man helmet from other brands so yeah if you want to buy the set here, I'll put a link to it down in the description box below. I'll learn from my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.